Okay, so now we're going to do sit. Alright, so let's look on how to solve sit. So there are some tips here. First, you need to simplify. What I mean by simplify is maybe you can move the terms to your left or to your right depends on the situation. And then square both sides. Always square both sides. So I'm going to call this as SBS from now on. And then next, you also should not forget to check. Okay? Especially for the one with more than one answer. Right. So let's look into this example first. This is what I meant by you have to simplify. Look here. It got zero on your right. Right? So we need to move our whole term set x minus 2 to your right hand side okay and then we need to square them both sides because we want to omit the square root sign so now square root sign basically is power of half so whatever power of half been again power by 2 so that's why they can omit off together so that's why we are being left with 5 minus x only and for this one x minus 2 only so now 2x equals to 7 so x equals to 7 over 2 okay so in terms of checking you can do so by just use your calculator or in fact we want to have some manual calculations here also can so for the checking part when your x equals to 7 over 2 on your left hand side you would have 5 minus 7 over 2 square root of that minus with 7 over 2 minus 2 so it should be square root of 3 over 2 minus with uh, as well as this square root of 3 over 2 so 0 0 is the one that we should have on the right so therefore this is our answer huh? okay how about next example we have square root x plus 5 or set x plus 5 minus 4 x plus with 13 in order for us to simplify this make sure to make sit alone at one side in order for it to be easier being solved later so square both sides usual so you would have x plus 5 equals to 16 x squared minus with okay here there's a trick on how to spend quickly in the middle here is actually the multiplication of these three terms here so here we have 4 x times by 13 that should be 52 and then times also with 2 so that's why you should have minus 104 x plus with this one being squared up 16 x squared 13 squared up will be 169 so all together okay the one with positive coefficient for x squared as the subject so 16x squared minus with 105x and then plus with 164 equals to 0 so solving this one we would have 16x minus 41 together with x minus 4 equals to 0 so hence our x is 41 over 16 or 4 okay so in order for us to check always check your answer whether to accept it or to reject it when your x equals to 41 over 16 your left hand side is equals to which is equals to 11 over 2 which at the same time is not equal to 0 where our 0 is on our right hand side okay so this one reject huh? however when x equals to 4 your left hand side 
should be 0. Reach at the same time equals to our right hand side. So therefore, our answer is 4 only. So under 41 over 16, we may write that as rejected. Or therefore here at the end of the solution, we should conclude that our x is 4 only. Okay, so now let's look into our next example. We have two square roots here, but do not worry people because we have square both sides that next. Please stick to that, don't worry. So now we should have x plus 7 only on our left hand side. Meanwhile, for this one, we square this up. We treat this as one term. So square that up would be x minus 5. And then in the middle here, we should time these three terms together. So set x minus 5 times 2 times also 2 again. So it should be plus 4, but set x minus 5 plus with 4 also. Okay, so 4 set x minus 5, put that aside. We should have x plus 7 minus with x also minus v plus. Huh? So plus with 5 minus with 4. Okay, so this one remained. That should be the so equals to this one finish off so 12 minus with 4 that should be 8 okay again here we still have set but then we can omit this 4 first right so everything divides by 4 we should have set x minus 5 equals to 2 square them again so we would have x minus 5 as well as for the so as equal to 9 okay in case we want to check this just to validate our answer when x equals to 9 let's see what happened on your left hand side you would have square root of 16 which is 4 okay and then on your right hand side we would have square root of 4 plus with 2 which eventually also will be coming 4 so this one is equals with each other so therefore our answer should be x equals to 9 here all right next what about this one okay so we have 1 2 3 Okay, not even 2, it's 3 square roots or sets. But do not worry guys, we can eliminate this one and solving this by using square both sides. Okay, so because we would have 3 square roots anyway, if we move this to your right or in any other way. So just remain like this. Okay, and then square them both sides. So for this one, we have 2x plus 1 alone. And then minus with, do not forget, multiply this together. 1, 2, 3 terms. So that should be 2 times with x in the bracket. 2x plus 1 minus also with x. Okay, equals 2 x it's not minus it's plus huh? because minus being squared up so plus x x minus 3 okay for this one if you wonder where did they came from please remember the properties of z whenever you have z a times by z b it would produce something like this being times up together and sharing the same row huh? okay so now remain your term with the set that you would have two set of two x square plus x okay please notice that i already moved this to the right because i want it to have positive coefficient and then equals to 2x plus 1 plus 
X still and then the whole thing here I move it to the left so that should be minus X plus 3 so this one being cancelled off together this one bring along which we still have 2x squared plus x okay equals to 2x plus 4 and then we can actually reduce the coefficient here so make it as 2x squared plus x only there which everything's here divides by 2 so that should be x plus 2 Okay, so in order for us to continue with this, we can square them both sides again with the power of SBS. Huh? So 2x squared plus x equals to x squared plus 4x plus 4. And then we should have x squared minus with 3x minus also with 4. Okay, please note that how I simplified this one. Huh? So at the end, you would have minus 4 as well as plus 1 equals to 0. So my uh, preferable answer here should be 4 as well as negative 1. So let's look one by one for this in terms of recheck. Though you can use your calculator only, yeah? So for me to recheck this one, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, manual calculation. So when x equals to 4, my left hand side would equal to 9 minus with 2. So which I have 1. But then on my right hand side, I would have 6 of 1 anyway, which is also 1. So because they are the same so i accept for as the answer meanwhile when my x is negative one on my left hand side i would have square root of two times negative one is negative two right guys but then one minus two is negative one so negative one minus with square root of negative one also set negative one so this got no solution unfortunately so that's why for negative one we reject that as the answer so our answer should be four only, yeah? Okay, so to the next video, guys. Hopefully, this one is beneficial for you. See you later.